Sentiment can be hard to fathom, but it's essential if you want to predict the market's next move. For example, today's stocks word on information that might have sunk us at another time, maybe even yesterday. Dow this time surging 618 points, S&P pole boiling 1.42%, NASDAQ rising 0.83%. Now, I talk about sentiment. I mean, what's the market's mindset? Sometimes it's about negativity and exhaustion. The house of pain. Other times it's about exhilaration and wild-eyed optimism. The house of pleasure. Today, it was about investors deciding their stocks to come down so far from their highs. It simply doesn't matter how bad the Omicron stream turns out to be. We didn't want to hear about it. Oh, they were willing to shrug off the news of a second Omicron case in America, even as stocks were viscerated yesterday when we learned of the first one. Just as important, given that we'll likely be hearing many, many, many more infections, especially because the second victim had gone to a packed anime convention in New York City, investors now seem to accept the Omicron variant as just a new fact of life. Of course, if this strain turns out to be worse than Delta, then we start seeing a huge wave of hospitalizations or perhaps deaths. Then we'll look back on today's bullishness as a temporary condition of insanity. Still, the first sentiments factor is pretty straightforward. We just had too much negativity. There just was. Stocks were overly hated, which made it easy for them to rally once we got a few bits of good news. A great quarter from Snowflake, a solid one from Okta, good news from CrowdStrike, which will be on later in the show. Secondly, relatedly, there's the oversold factor. Sometimes stocks go down so hard so fast that they'll overshoot and deserve to bounce. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.